Hi there, my name is Andres from Staking. Today we're going to go through how to stake XLR with Kepler and how to use this bridge. If you wish to check the most up-to-date APR for XLR, you can go here to xlrscan.io. At the time of this recording, we can see it's about 14%. Now let's get to the staking part. For this exercise, I've already transferred a very small amount of XLR. When you open your Kepler, simply click here on stake. Now we're gonna select our trusted validator staking. Keep in mind, it will take about seven days to undelegate or free up your funds once you stake. Go ahead and select the amount that you wish to stake. And remember that you'll need a very small amount to stake, undelegate, and claim the rewards. And that's it, you successfully staked your actual tokens. If you wish to unlock or undelegate your funds, this is how you do it. And remember, it will take seven days to complete this process. Up next is how to claim rewards. So after the four days that we waited, we can claim a very small amount of rewards right here. Next up is how to bridge with Axelar. We took a clip from the official Axelar website. We're going to put the full video link beneath. If you enjoy this content, please consider to like and subscribe. We do appreciate it. Satellite.money. What I'd like to do in this demo is transfer uh, USDC from Ethereum to Osmosis, as you see on the screen. Uh, you can pick your selected token in the, in the dropdown as shown here, or uh, we do have uh, what we see as some of the common flows uh, that users have seen. So if you click on these top flows here, um, there are some which you should be able to use to kind of pre-populate your, your selected choices. So another one is transferring uh, Axel tokens from Ethereum to Osmosis. Um, but again, for the purpose of this demo, going to go with the USDC selection. And the supported blockchains, if you, if you just uh, open up this drop down, you, you see the full list here listed in alphabetical order. So with those selections made, I'm going to go ahead and connect some wallets. A, a note on wallet co connections, you don't actually have to connect a wallet. You can certainly uh, trigger the flow of this transaction um, the entire way through um, with exchange accounts or exchange addresses that you import from elsewhere. For ease of use, though, we uh, allow you to kind of hook into a couple of supported wallets that we have um, as of today, which are for uh, everything within our EVM ecosystems, we, we primarily support MetaMask. And for uh, those in the Cosmos ecosystem, uh, including Axelar, uh, we primarily use the Kepler wallet integration for, uh, for those transactions. So um, as I'm transferring to Osmosis, um, you see here you can pre-populate uh, the destination address with the address that I'm just going to grab from my attached Kepler wallet to Satellite. And here, uh, be because my source chain is Ethereum, I'm going to connect my MetaMask to see what my upfront balance is of that. So just clicking these connection options here. 
There we go. So we see we have uh, roughly a couple hundred uh, USDC in this transfer. Um, once you have those selections made, you see that there's uh, some informational material. Um, the cost that is is incurred in relaying this transaction from Ethereum to Osmosis is, is uh, 10.5 USDC. Um, and we see that the transaction uh, wait time in this case, given that we're coming from Ethereum, which uh, can take a little bit longer, um, would be roughly 15 minutes or so. Um, it is different per chain, um, as is the relay or gas fee per chain. So if I change this source chain, for example, to Avalanche, we see that the fee is a little bit less um, and the wait time is, is, is a little bit faster versus our Ethereum scenario. So actually for the, for the sake of this demo, let me actually go ahead and do the transfer from Avalanche to Osmosis and uh, j just because of the quicker turnaround in this transaction flow. So going to generate a deposit address. Oh, I have to enter an amount. So let me enter an amount that's greater than the min. So five USDC. You see that I heard, you see here that I'm generating a deposit address. What our network does is it generates a unique deposit address for a transaction that is initiated. And once you make your deposit into that deposit address, our network kicks in and does the, it facilitates the transfer all the way to your destination chain. So once you make your deposit after the ad address is generated, um, it'll just be a few minutes before uh, the, the funds would appropriately appear in your destination address. You see here, uh, after I clicked get deposit address, there's this little warning label that, that popped up that, um, that makes sure that you're, you're sending the right asset into the uh, deposit address. So here we're saying the asset that you should send um, is this one with this corresponding contract address and the balance of that in my connected wallet uh, via MetaMask is this 328. This just gives you an assurance that you're sending the right asset into uh, this deposit address that you are uh, making this transfer for. So I'm just going to make my confirmations. And here, if we scroll down a little bit, uh, you could trigger all of this from MetaMask. So clicking there, switching to Avalanche as my source chain. Uh, just a couple of things to, to note here. You see that my deposit address is this one that ends CAA, which corresponds to the prompt that comes up in my MetaMask screen uh, with this five uh, USDC token that, that I'm selecting to uh, transfer. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And this, uh, this is just waiting for the transaction to get processed on the source chain, so on Avalanche in this case. Um, before we actually send it into our network and transfer it fully to uh, the destination chain in question. And uh, while that's processing, we see uh, that there are links here to uh, various things. One, if you want to copy and paste the deposit address, that's available to you. Um, and this deposit confirmation here would link you to the source chain transaction hash of the deposit that you will have made. So you see that uh, trans transaction detail listed here on Snowtrace. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And until the next one.